Hello friends, it is Astro back again in Max Kick. At least that's what I'm going to call it. I don't know. Max Kick sounds fun to me. Um, this is our maximum security prison, which is probably designed very poorly and people will just call me out and say how much of a spanner I am, but I don't know. I like it. I mean, look. Look how gorgeous it is. It's got footprints. It's got, what, maybe vomit. It's got pissed off guards. What more could you want? from a prison. We've got number one here, just cruising about, dreaming. He's got his picture of his, on his desk of uh, his old warden lounging with his coffee in his hand. And uh, we've got Auntie Meredith over here, just plodding about in her office. She's got nothing to do at, at the moment. Um, so this episode, I want to like build out the rest of this wing and you know start getting some, some services in here so we can start bringing our prisoners in because we're closed at the moment. Um, but before we do, let's just see if there's anything that these guys can get underway. And I think, look, the first thing the warden can do for us is figure out how we can get maintenance and then cleaning because this prison is bloody filthy at the moment. Um, and, uh, oh, Missy here, look, you can probably, I don't know, an extra grant? You can have three, yeah, look, we'll have three grants running at any one time just so that we can get that sweet bonus money up the front and then, uh, yeah, complete as many as we can. So, number one, he's off. Swinging his leg over chairs. Look, here he goes. No, oh, no, he's not going to do it. Anyway, we'll come back to him later. We'll uh, go into our um, grants here. We've only got cell block A running at the moment. Um, but, ah, oh, here we go. So, prison maintenance. Well, we've just kicked that off. We've begun the process of figuring out how to maintain our prison, which is nice. Um, and that's it until Meredith figures out, look, what are you doing? I'm sure Meredith doesn't like you just sitting there having a snooze in her office, mate. This is a bit, it's a bit rough. Jeez, it's the nerve of some people. Anyway, so we've got that under the way. When she finishes up, we can get, I don't know, visitation or security would be nice. And then we can get our security uh, chief underway and do all of that sort of bish bash um, and other bits and bobs that we can do so that's good that's underway they can do their thing and while they're doing that we can populate out the rest of these cells so we'll just pop in a quick build here clone up this guy and then we'll just go donk two cells where are we we're at 40,000 clams at the moment we'll just be careful and this is costing us a bit it's like a thousand and fifty bucks a throw. Do you know what? That's not too bad. How many are we going to get here? Um, let's see. Do like that. And you know what? Is this not going to reach? Okay, fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave it at that. And then this will become a corridor that can roll out to another bank of cells over here. And then we can have another bank of cells stretching down. And this foundation will need to be moved a little bit. But look, this will be good for now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll have eight down here. Good. That'll get us over our 15 target for cell block A. That was very serendipitous. I didn't even... Uh-oh. I've forgotten something. Yeah, I didn't even plan that. So, not a cell... No, I want a window. There we go. Right next to the bed. Oh, and I forgot his prayer mat. There we go. And we want it to face... Which way is this one facing? It's facing this way. So we'll make him face the same way. Here we go. We're all for the RP here. Um, quick build. Clone. But yes, I didn't even count how many... Um, oh, I better wait for them to finish. I didn't even count how many... Uh, um, cells there were going to be. So I, I'm very lucky to have made that. Just, just the right amount. Um, we'll boost these ones up with a little control left click action so we can get these cells queued. And, uh, you know what? Uh, we're on two. You know, I'll leave it at two for now. Just while we're building. It's nice and soothing. It's, it's good to run at those sort of levels so that you're not just frantically clicking things. Uh, right, so we've got one cook... Did we not hire two cooks? I thought we did. Yeah, we did. Where's the other one? Is he... 
Has he lost? No. So we got... And there's two guards. There's one here. And... Where on earth? Where have these guys disappeared to? Are they just, like... What's this? Oh, it's a notebook page. It can't be built on dirt. Player can lay foundations in an empty dirt cell. I love this. I just love seeing into how these guys, like, brainstormed this game. It's so amazing. And I love this game. So, oh gosh, I've never collected all of these. Maybe that'll be a challenge for today. Nice. Very nice. Okay, good. So we'll get out of that. Yep, cool, thank you. Um, have we found our missing... We've got a... I don't know where you're going. So... Who knows? They're, they're, they're hiding somewhere. Oh, there's the other guard. Great. And we're still missing a... Oh, no, there he is. I don't know where he's going. He's... They're all pissed off. So I'm going to have to get... Um, psychology unlocked sooner rather than later. It looks like... Um, our research is finished now, so we can get an extra grant. And you know what? I think the next thing we need is psychology. So we've got our maintenance guy. We're going to have to hire him. We'll have to make him an office first, though. And we can just... We'll just clone out these offices. So they'll be flipped. But that's okay. It just means that when he's uh, when he's got his um, porn on the computer, he'll need to be uh, careful. Actually, you know what? We'll just... Oh, look at this. Have a desk, desk, de office desk. Look at that. <laughs> uh, we'll have it this way. There we go. That way, we'll be able to see what he's up to. With his big, you know, five and a quarter inch floppy drives. They've all got the same person on their picture too, which I find a bit creepy. It must be like, you know, the queen or something. Um, right, so... When they get built out, we'll hire in our... Um, Workman, what's his name? Foreman. Hire in our foreman, and then we can get our uh, cleaning staff sorted. Jolly good. Okay. Um, prison cells coming in. These ones still haven't quite completed, so I don't know why that's the case. Deliveries. I think I may have made a bit of a mistake with the deliveries. It's not quite large enough. But that may just be because of the fact that we're building a lot of guff. And we've filled it with lights, which we auto-built and then had to remove. Mm. Well, look, you live and learn. We may have to efficientize this a little bit later on. But for now, it's fine. Um, cool. That's done. That's done. Is there a light going in there? No. Objects. Good. We can use up one more of these bloody lights. Yep. Oh. All right, I'll come back to that. Um, cool. Okay. So these cells are populating out. We'll just speed it up so we can get this done. Because I want to... get some max. Look, we've got 21 max set guys here. Standing by. Good to go. We can get them in and they can get to, get to work. Lounging in their cells and eating in the canteen and... frolicking gaily out in the yard. It'll be, it'll be gorgeous. Um, so, got, and that's all connected, great, okay, alright, uh, so next we're going to quick build, clone, and this prison cell has completed, so we'll just go dunk, 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 27,000, oh, we're dipping so low, okay, great, and that's fine, and then I wonder, we could do another row of them here, Right, back to back. So that they come down this way. We'd leave this bottom corridor again. And then have them coming down. Okay, we'll think about that maybe next time. So we'll let these cells populate out. And... Do you know what? Let's, let's, let's get some... Let's get some monies going on. Up in this his house. So we're going to pull 11 dudes. Where are they going to go? We have 11 cells? Oh, we have 13 cells online. Wow, so this is going to go, like, very shortly. When... So that one's done. So these two here are next. And... Almost. Almost. 
No toilet. Okay, come on. Get a toilet in. I mean, you do need a toilet in a prison. It's generally a good thing. Um, you need a toilet, you know, anywhere where you plan to live for an extended period of time. And when you're in prison, that's generally... Hey, there we go. Okay. So we've hit our first milestone. We've got cell block A. Um, we may as well have a look at our grants again and see what's next. So, inmate health and well-being. We're going to need to look at that short... Oh, you know what? Health and well-being can pop in the center here. We can pop in our uh, uh, little um, medical ward in there. That'd be great. It'd be a nice little spot for it. Sort of central. If anyone gets shanked in the kitchen, uh, canteen, during lunchtime, they can just go straight out. Off they go. And we can, we can actually seal... Yeah, that's a nice way to do it. We'll do that. Um, and what else can we do? Staff well-being. That's probably not a bad thing because we do have our staff fairly pissed off at the moment. They're all a bit, you know, a bit upset. So we'll we'll plan for this one as well and then we'll come back for cell block B because we're going to need to, like, build up a bit of cash before we jump into cell block B. It'll give us a 10 grand advance payment, but we're going to need to be prepared to build more foundations, right? So we're going to need another block sort of here that'll double up like this. We're going to have another little short stubby one here that's going to get cut off because we've got the power and power and water here, but that's fine. What's this? No prisoners assigned to eat at this canteen. Um, okay. You sure? Well, I, I need prison labor first so I can see what's going on there. I'm not sure why that says... Hmm. All right. Well, we'll come back to that. I'm sure that that will be not a problem. Hey, look! We've got our dudes turned up. Oh, look. And we've got a gang member already. Screaming Eagle Man. He's mad. Thanks. Like, you've got a bell with swords going? Is it a bell? I'm going to say that that's a bell. Like, he's... That's the bell gang. Um, we've got a... Huh. Oh, there you go. That's nice. Welcome, brother. <coughs> I don't know what you're in for. I'm sure it's... Uh, Something video game related. So, um, at our first intake, guys are being processed by the guards down here. And then they're going to come down and take up residence in their new fancy dancy digs down here. Um, I've just realized too. So, we don't have logistics, so we can't check out how our, you know, assignments are going to go. We don't have deployment, so we can't even set this to max sec and, you know, make sure that that's all done. We can't tell our guards where to go. Ooh, it's going to be a bit of a struggle for a little while. Bit of a bit of a pain, but that's fine. So look, let's um let's get a couple of things while these guys are getting processed and we figure out what to do with them. Let's get our foreman because we've got his office ready. So we can grab him and say, "Right. Oh, there you go. Welcome aboard." Oh, you okay? Fairly, you go in there, that's fine. I, whatever you want to do, mate. So you can uh, get started. We'll get some more research underway. You can get started on figuring out how to keep this place clean because it is utterly filthy right now. And I think that the warden should get our security guards underway. That's going to be fairly helpful. Um, what else can we do? Alright, finance-wise, how much cash do we have at the... We've got 65 grand. Jeez, we're doing alright. Okay. So, finance-wise, you can have a look at... Bank loans, always handy, but look... I mean, it's a big outlay, but it's going to pay off as we go along, right? Each each day of, you know, per $10,000, we'll save $15,000 on taxes. So, we'll get that underway. It's going to take a bit of time. It's uh, going to cost a fair... Like, it's, it's fairly expensive, but look... In the long run, I think it's going to be well worth our time um, just to just to keep our overheads down. Um, still haven't figured out what to do up here. We'll come back to that. It's probably going to be more offices and maybe a cleaning cupboard. So down here, um, in this sort of common utilities zone, like through the canteen, I'm going to have this... It'll come down to this sort of line here. And I think the first thing we need to do is have a look at 
uh, the medical ward, right? And a psychologist. I'm going to put a psychologist office down here. And we're going to have some doctors. People are already a bit upset uh, with their environment because it is filthy. So, yeah, this, this shared zone, we're going to have to figure out some of that. So let's plan this out so that we can have it nice and ship shape and Bristol fashion. So we're going to have it come all the way down to here, right? Not there. Uh, we're going to have on this side a lovely big medical ward like this. And on this side, our big seven... No, poo. I wonder. Yeah, you know what? We'll stretch these down. We go seven by seven. No, it's still not big enough. Bugger it. We'll just make equals, equal sizes. And we can have like a really big um, office for our psychologist. We'll have like, lots of chairs. Maybe he can do group counselling. I think they can do group counselling in their office. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. So, let's get some uh, concrete walls down like this, and this, and bang, boop, boop, zip, zap, groovy, great. So, we've got a little corridor here. We can extend this further if we want to. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, and then we're going to have a medical... No? What's it called? Medical ward. Do I need to... Shit. Oh, he's not researching anything. Great. Figure out how to do that. That's still going on. The cleaning's done. Wow, this is happening much faster. Actually, you know what? I'm going to slow this down to one speed because I'm kind of getting a bit overrun here. Oh, man. These guys are breaking stuff. We're going to... One, two, three, four more guards. Oh, man. This is... Already starting to go a bit pear-shaped. Um, right. So the environment was seems to be what they're pissed off about until we get a, um, um, you know, an actual psychologist on deck. We're not going to know for sure. So we're just going to have to guesstimate this. We'll pop in here an object of a door. Right. And then we're going to go for a uh, room, which is going to be a cleaning cupboard. Where is it? Cleaning cupboard. Right in there. It's going to complain because it's... Oh. I was going to say it's going to complain because it's not indoors, but evidently it, it, it is? Question mark? It's fine. All right, look. So... Important stuff first. Janitors. Three, four, because this place is just atrocious. Right, so we'll let them get out and start mopping this place down. And hopefully these prisoners will um, be a little bit ups uh, less upset with their surroundings. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and yeah, so it's eat time at the moment. And unfortunately it looks like we've got some bacon on the stove. But nothing has made it out to the prisoners for where they need to eat. Now it reminds me, I am rather hungry too. Um, what is our regime? Lock up, free time, yard, eat. Okay, so this is fairly basic at the moment. And I think it's probably fine, right? They've got a lot of stuff to do in their cells. So this lock up time should satisfy most of the bits and bobs that they need. But... I'm a little concerned at the moment. Oh, no, hang on. We've got some bacon coming out. Bam. There you go, boys. Dig in. You've got precisely, like, 40 minutes to cram as much bacon into your faces as possible. You've got a whopping 31% of people have managed to get some bacon. Yeah, I think we're going to need probably uh, two more cooks, I reckon. We might need another cooker as well. You know what? Let's let's just get one in. Where is it? Objects. Pop another cooker in just to be on the safe side. Because we want to keep these cats cool, calm, and collected. And you know, they say that the, the way to a prisoner's heart is through 
bacon. Um, okay, so that's that under control. Got another fight breaking down. I dare say that um, until we get our psychologist on deck, this is going to be a fairly regular occurrence. It's very loud. Might have to tune my game audio a little bit. Um, under control? Spiffy, thank you. Alright, so now we've got a bunch of unconscious and injured guys, which means that it's perfect timing to look... Oh. Right. That's something we forgot. Solitary cells. Okay, we can come back to that. Um, anyway, where were we? Right. Injured people. So, Leatus Brocaccio and Bruno Faria and Ian Cow. There you go. Thanks, Ian, for having a name that I can pronounce. And Aston Batty. They're all a bit uh, worse for wear right now, so they're going to need a bit of TLC in the forms of a medical ward, which uh, should have finished. No, nope, we've got an hour to go, so that's okay. That should be almost done. In the meantime, let's get this psychologist set up, and he can help us. So we'll go for an office here, uh, which will need a start. No, just need a regular door. Regular door. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we're going to need to pop in also uh, some lights. Those in the corners like this. Someone's cleaning in there, which is lovely. Uh, we're going to need to have... Um, there we go, that's better. We really need a filing cabinet. We'll pop his desk up here, right? And then we can have a little chair, like this. And look, we'll just RP this right up. So we can have like a couch for when he's got someone that he's like, you know, dealing with and everything. And then down the bottom here, we're gonna, oh, look at this. Yeah, right under the light. We'll have a little sort of group huddle area where you can, you know, just, just, we'll do like Alcoholics Anonymous meetings down here and that sort of jazz. Um, so hopefully that, that single door should be okay. Um, and then over here, we should now hopefully have the, there it is, infirmary. Spiffy. Alright. So we'll need two Doctorbs. Oops, I'll have to put them somewhere where we can actually see, apparently. Alright, so we got two doctors set up. We're going to need some medical beds. Just like this. And... Oh, that's disappointing. Eh, it's fine. We'll just put four in here like this. We'll just have this nice sort of open, open spaces. Um, and did I put lights in here? I don't think I did. So we'll just pop one over each bed. Right out in the corners. Um... Good. So that should actually complete... Um, oh, that's right. Last thing. Psychologist. Where are you going? No, you need to go here. Oi. Oi. This... Oi. Come here. Yeah, bugger. No, I don't want this to be... Alright. Here, look. You will have the office that you are assigned, young man. You. Good. Down there. That's your office. Um, can you two come and deal with these guys, please? Because they're a bit worse for wear. Okay, well, we'll let them... There we go. Look at that. It's like having Mercy on deck. Anyway, so, look, we've got, um, we've got our doctors cruising about fixing people up. Infirmary is going to come online shortly when we get our um, medical beds deployed, and that should complete out. Uh, there it goes. Ten grand. Bob's your uncle. Um, so next time, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll have a look at putting a staff room in up here, or a visitation room. I, I think visitation's probably good up here, and then we'll actually move the the this door to here so that we can have this area a little bit more open. Um, cool. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.